Well, I got quite excited yesterday about finding that, uh, that little gorge or chasm or chasm, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I've realized that there's a few of them around here. I went for a bit of a walk last evening and uh, I found a, a few more that I want to go and photograph. So, um, yeah, stayed in Mighty Whitey on the side of the road in uh, the house pass and uh, a bit of a frost this morning, had to beat the ice off the boots. Um, but uh, beautiful sunny day, well, clear day. Um, so hopefully a bit of sun and a bit of light will come through uh, and uh, make the scene really magic. So uh, yeah, come for the ride. So it starts with a bit of a, a climb up from the bush. It's one way of getting warm, eh? Way down. Well, I've uh, got to the stream, climbed down a few embankments. I'm just gonna see how far up I can go and see if there's a, a good composition that I want to shoot. Hopefully, there's a nice waterfall, but at least it'll be a good scout around, eh? Well, back at Mighty Whitey on the Hask Highway, and uh, that's part one done of today. Uh, next part is uh, Wilson's Creek Chasm, which I've seen photos of and it looks absolutely awesome. Uh, actually, that's the reason I stopped here, um, it's because I was coming to find that, and I've seen pictures, and I so wanted to get a photo of it. Um, I overdrove it. Ended up parking here, had a look in the stream, and yeah, so uh, I've still got Wilson's Creek to explore. It's just gone half past ten. The light's probably yeah, maybe all right. I don't I don't know because I've never been there before. I'm I'm thinking the light's got to be uh, straight above or from a relative angle to shine through the cracks in the canyon. Um, so that's why. I, been waiting until a little bit later in the day. Hopefully it's not going to be too bright and blown out. Uh, so Wilson's Creek will be part two and then um, all going well, we're not too knackered. Um, pack up the van and head down past and go and see if I can find some penguins. So I know a little spot where I saw them a couple of years ago and even though it might be a little bit late in the season, we'll go and have a look and um, yeah, that'll be nice. So, part, part one done, part two to do, part three the penguins, right now, jam sandwich. Whew. Well, that's uh, about an hour in, <laughs> and 
I've had some serious elevation gain. The trees are getting rather stunted, but I think it's going down again. If you're going to come and do this, best you bring, best you bring some gear with you. Take a bit of food. Maybe even a personal locator beacon. I've got one, just in case. It's not really a track. It's not marked. I can just see some scuff marks where other people of boots have churned up the roots. I don't think I'm gonna get lost. If you don't hear from me, I did. If you see this post, I didn't. Well, I'm beginning to wonder if I'm going the right way. The stream is a long way down. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder if I'm on a hunter's track. So I'm sort of committed now, eh? Let's give it a bit more go, a bit more time. I think I can find my way back. If I, if I don't get a photo out of this, I'll be surprised because I think it's soon I'm going to get out on the tops and um, get a grand view anyway. So it's probably going to be worthwhile. Oh, well, now I'm getting patches of snow. I'm getting higher and higher. I'll wait for that peak, but uh, the creek is getting further and further away. So I'm actually wondering if I'm going the right way, or I might just on, be on a hunter's track. <sighs> oh, I've decided this is not the way. I didn't know where, I have no idea where the turn off is. It's not a marked track. It's not maintained by dock or anything. But uh, I think I'll go back down, looking around. It's actually a long way to the tops. <laughs> so, uh, clouds coming in, which actually be good for the photography. You know, I can find a subject <sighs> composition that I want to photograph. Not very good at photographing in these trees. Nigel Dancer can pick out a, a composition. I just see a whole lot of trees. But, uh... well, I got back down from my uh, mountain goat expedition and I uh, thought I'd just uh, have a look off the road um, up the stream about a hundred meter walk so I've just come from what you can see behind me and I'm just going to go around the corner that's in front of me and I'm going to show you what's around there get ready to have your mind blown Just how the hell am I going to get all of that into a photo? Isn't it absolutely amazing? Well, I've taken about a hundred uh, shots. They're standing in the water. I am freezing. I just got to go with what I got. I got a load of editing to do. I think I might have something pretty special. Um, yeah. We'll wait and see. But I know where it is next time, eh?